Blizzard Entertainment is just on a mission these days to continuously deface themselves as a company, to make their image the worst it can possibly be in the eyes of the general gaming audience, as well as their own community of players. Now, that might sound like an extreme statement that I just made, but honestly, it isn't. Blizzard over the past several months, over the past several years even, has constantly had issues with their PR as a company, and I'd like to detail some of the backlash that they have faced over the years in this video. And then, at the end of it, you can ask yourselves the question, is this company even worth supporting? I don't really know where to begin with this video, because I don't remember every Blizzard misstep that has occurred, but I think a good place to start would be Warlords of Draenor. Now, for those of you that didn't play WAD, this expansion came out directly after Mists of Pandaria, which many considered to be Blizzard's most controversial expansion at the time. Rather than having a game filled with warfare, fire, blood and magical arcane and all that cool stuff. Mists was all about pandas and understanding conflict to avoid it and finding peace. Now, needless to say, when you have a game called World of Warcraft, you're naturally going to upset some people with a theme like that. Fast forward to Warlords of Draenor's release, and a lot of people were excited to finally be out of Panda Land. Or they were at first, until they realized that WAD was the absolute worst expansion ever. A horrible launch, little content at release, massive content droughts after that, cut content that was promised at BlizzCon, like the Shatrath raid, what happened to that? Stupid lore, and a whole lot more. People thought the expansion sucked, and so they were pissed. And what did they do? They went and played another game. A game called World of Warcraft Classic. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Nostalrius for one second. Nostalrius was a classic WoW private server where people could re-experience the good old days of original WoW. No more quality of life changes, no more being told you were the great champion at the end of every quest. Nah, dude. Classic WoW was where it was at. Tons of people flooded into this private server, played it all throughout Warlords of Draenor, and Nostalrius saw incredible growth in its population. And why? Well, it was because it was the first classic WoW private server that was pretty well done. Few bugs, not a lot of lag, the staff were pretty cool, classic WoW's a fun game. And so, hey man, it was a recipe for success. So what did Blizzard do? They shut it down. Now, Blizzard was well within their rights to do this, but this was like hitting a hornet's nest for the company as the player base erupted in anger at them. They wanted to play WoW, but not this crappy version of WoW that was offered in Warlords of Draenor. And so, people boycotted Blizzard. They canceled their WoW subscriptions. They attacked the company on social media. I think Overwatch was coming out at the time and a lot of people canceled their Overwatch pre-orders. And what happened? At long last, Blizzard responded. And long story short, the shutting down of Nostalrius and the community outrage over it is what ultimately led to the release of Blizzard's World of Warcraft Classic back in August of this year, all because they pissed off their player base. But the story doesn't end there. You guys ever hear about a game called Diablo Immortal? Yeah. At BlizzCon 2018, Diablo fans lined up, ready to hear the announcement of a new game in their favorite franchise. Excitement filled the air, people were ready to cheer, and Blizzard made their announcement. There was no Diablo 4 coming. Hell, there wasn't even a new Diablo anything coming to the PC. They were making a mobile Diablo game called Diablo Immortal to cater to the rapidly growing Chinese mobile gaming market. And you know what happened? People got pissed. The company's stock immediately dropped. Diablo fans left Blizzard behind in droves, and the future of the company was uncertain. But hey, 
At least Battle for Azeroth had just been released to World of Warcraft, and that was turning out to be a great expansion, right? Wrong. Battle for Azeroth was an expansion polluted with problems, ranging from boring content to broken in-game systems entirely. This expansion, like Warlords of Draenor, quickly gained a reputation as one of WoW's worst expansions, if not WoW's worst expansion in some people's eyes, and the Warcraft community grew to dislike Blizzard as well. No matter what the company seemed to announce, nobody was excited anymore. Even Mike Morheim, Blizzard's former CEO, he didn't seem all that happy with the company anymore, or maybe he was like, whatever, but he left. He was gone. On top of all of that, games like Hearthstone and Overwatch were losing popularity among the general gaming public, and Heroes of the Storm, a game that was Blizzard's attempt at the MOBA genre, had its support cut from the company when it came to the esports scene. Without any warning to anybody whatsoever, not even professional players, Blizzard just pulled the plug on the game's support, and Heroes of the Storm's professional players were left jobless, without direction, and again, people got upset at Blizzard. Now, it's not like Heroes of the Storm was one of Blizzard's biggest titles, but the fact that they cut support in the esports scene only showed just how bad of a state the company was in. That ultimately was confirmed further by Blizzard laying off 8% of its workforce less than three months later, leaving 800 good people without employment. Now, despite this, the company claimed record profits, so much so that their new CFO during this time was given a $15 million bonus just for taking the job. Because nothing says that you care about your employees more than giving their entire future salaries to one guy. Isn't that right, Blizzard? That's right. Okay, there's more that could be said. Little things here and there, comments made on social media, videos, bad game patches, and whatever and so on, I know. But let's cut to current events. Recently, Blizzard is under fire yet again for another controversy. A professional Hearthstone player by the name of Blitz Chung is a guy who is sympathetic towards the cause of the Hong Kong protests. You know that whole little thing about keeping the arm of communism out of Hong Kong and promoting democracy and such? That little thing that's happening overseas? Well, while being interviewed after a tournament, Blitz Chung stated the following, quote, liberate Hong Kong revolution of our time. That's it. The guy supports democracy. And what did Blizzard do in response to this single statement? Not only did they ban him and seize his prize money, they also went out of their way to fire the two people who were interviewing him. And why? Because apparently, according to Blizzard's contract, they can suspend you and seize your prize money if you say anything that the company thinks makes them look bad. Now guys, I understand that there's a lot of Blizzard stock owned by Chinese companies, and Blizzard is trying to appeal to the massive China-based market with their future titles like Diablo Immortal. So I get why they banned this guy, and they are within their rights to do it, but I hope that they understand that their Western audience is not going to smile too brightly on what they've done, and they haven't. If you Google Blizzard controversy right now at the time of me uploading this video, you will find pages upon pages of people supporting a total boycott of Blizzard's games and all of their products. Hell, even my most recent video where I just talked about the recent WoW patch that just came out was full of comments showing support for Hong Kong and Blitzchung. Once again, Blizzard has soiled their image in the public eye, and it's probably only a matter of time before they do it again. Sometimes, to be fair, the company does do something right that earns them some brownie points in the eyes of the gamers, you know, but it seems that whenever they take one step forward, they are determined to take two steps back. Now, I don't know exactly where the company is going to go from here, but the damage that they have done to themselves over the past few years 
it's definitely starting to show from the memes and the comments that are being made about Blizzard across the internet. Now I'm going to say this as well. I am not here to tell you what to think. I am not telling you to cancel your subscriptions, to stop playing your favorite games, or whatever. I am just here to make you all more aware of what has been happening to Blizzard behind the scenes over the past few years. And by Blizzard I mean Activision Blizzard. How you spend your money and your time is up to you, the player. And I do apologize that I didn't elaborate on every controversy Blizzard has been facing over the years in this video, but we don't want to be here for an hour discussing everything that has happened in great detail. I mean, come on. Thank you all for watching or listening though. More content is coming out soon on the channel, more laughs, and to those of you who do watch this channel on the regular, I am sorry that this video isn't as silly or as funny as my usual ones, and if you want to see one of my recent crazy high energy loopy videos, just check out my 5 epic classic wow moments video, which I will I'll link it here on the end screen. But either way guys, see you all soon, like the video to support the channel, subscribe, hit the bell, blah blah blah, you guys know the drill, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.